Hello, I'm the Irish Football Fan TV. We're here at the Aviva Stadium for the FC24 um, launch, and I'm joined by Shower and Captain Luke Byrne. Luke, um, I just I get straight into it with you. Shell's a brilliant season um, so far. I know. I remember we actually sat here last year. We were was ahead of the cup final, and you were saying about standards and, and raising it, and you know finishing the season strong. But it must be double that now because it's 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 within sight. Yeah. Look, we obviously have a goal of um, qualifying for Europe, Paul. And you know, while you're, while it is a, a good season so far. Um, all we've done is put ourselves in a position where we can go and, and achieve that. You know, there's five games to play. You know, the league is so tight. Every match has huge implications. So we're not getting carried away. You know, we're, we're I suppose, satisfied with what we've done so far. But we know there's a, there's a lot left to do. Yeah, it's funny because a lot of people at the start of the season, I think when Damien Duff said Europe is the aim, a lot of people laughed. And just co shells have just quietly gone about their business. But I think the most impressive thing is it's largely been done without a recognised striker up front. I mean, Jack Moylan's pretty much been the striker. He's been excellent, got him out to Lincoln, but Sean Boyd was the talisman last season. And it would have been hard to replace him. I know he's your mate and stuff like that, but to, to replace him and then kind of play with no recognised striker? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, I suppose us as players, you know, we, we obviously feel for Sean that he's missed a lot of football. It's been a tough season for him, um, and, and we're looking forward to having him back really soon. Um, that, you know we're going to need him in these last few games, but I think it's credit to Jack. Uh, he's adapted really well, playing probably a position that's slightly unfamiliar to him. Um, he's obviously led the line amazingly well. He's you know in the running for Golden Boot. He's got his move to Lincoln, and uh, the best thing about Jack is he's totally focused on the last five games of the season for Shells. That's just his mentality. Um, really, really good kid and. You know, he's one of a number of players who've had outstanding seasons. Um, Gavin Malloy's been excellent as well. Yeah, Gavin Every Malloy, game I've, I've been at, he's, he, for me, he's been a man of the match. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, like, I put him forward for every individual award that, that's up for grabs. You know, I mean, player of the year, young player of the year, I think he's been that good. Um, another just brilliant kid, you know, so composed, so mature, so down to earth. Um, and that there's loads of them, but um, yeah, they're, they're probably the two that stand out. Yeah, but just like... It's the fact that like the team and the manager have been get, getting a lot of stick probably at the start of the season, didn't get enough results or draws. Or so. And you're competing with teams that have, obviously at the time, twice the budget, you know, um, recognised experienced players and stuff like that. And I remember a particular game against Shamrock Rovers where the, um, it was, I think actually Gavin Malloy scored a late header. But I couldn't have foreseen that last season from the Shells. So there seems to be more of a, a grittiness to this team. Um, maybe the addition of like Paddy Barrett and stuff like that obviously helps because he's a, he's got that hunger and he's a winner. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. that's probably added to. It's been a great kind of mix of young, old, and even if you look at it, like the bench lads, they've been young lads and all, a lot of the team all buying into it. So. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what the manager's done. He's gradually improved the squad uh, over 18 months, bringing in like you said the likes of Paddy, Connor Kearns, Tariq Wilson. Even in the summer, the two boys have come over from Hull and made a huge, huge impact. So. But then the players that are there the whole time, you know, they've all improved as well over the course of the last 18 plus months. So these results and um, the position we're in the league is the result of, you know, a, a lot of factors, I think. Yeah, and to tell me from your own point of view, I know you've had your, your struggles a little bit this, this season with injury and stuff like that. Um, so how has it been from your own point of view? Because I'm probably looking at a lot of games going, I wish I was playing. You know? Yeah, look, of course you want to play every game, but... Um, the lads have been playing so well, you know, we're getting results. Um, and anyone who's played as you know they've they've performed and they've kept their jersey so i'm just trying to stay in the best condition i can and be available for whenever the manager needs me i was uh i played on monday night and um you know we obviously got a good point in daily mount i'll be available friday and um that's that's the mindset of all the players is to be available uh, for when you're called upon that's that's your job as, as being a part of a team mm. and just i uh, don't i'm i'm wary of your times we're, we're nearly finished up here um but in your opinion, what is this is a strong end to the season for yourself and yourself, sorry, the club? Yeah, look, it would be qualifying for Europe, you know, um, finishing third, not leaving it to chance in the cup. That would be the ideal end to the season. That would be what we set out to do, and it's it's very achievable. Um, but on the flip side, we know that the league is so tight, a couple of bad results, and you can slide probably from third to sixth in a couple of games if you're not careful. So. 
we're not getting carried away. We're just taking it game by game. But um, that that would be, you know, that would be the, the, the dream end of the season, I suppose. Yeah, and obviously with the takeover there recently, it looks as though there'll be a bigger budget for next season to bring in better players and then push on again. Yeah, so I mean, as look, a club, that's what you wanted. Yeah, as, as players, we're not privy to the conversations that happen in the background. You know, we don't know anything about budgets um, or kind of the longer term plans. Our day today hasn't changed since the takeover. You know, we still have the same manager and coaches, and we're still working towards the same goal. Um, but obviously, it is very exciting times, and um, the club share that the, the manager's ambition um, and our ambition as players. You know, we want to bring this club, you know, through the levels. We want to progress each year, and it, it is very exciting. But again, we, we can only really focus on the next um, five games. That's Absolutely. All. Well, listen. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Pat. Best of luck for the rest of the season, and I'll see you on Friday in Tallinn. Cheers.